Good morning, folks. We've got space weather to discuss following last night's forecast. There's more on deck, and we'll hit three articles today on the Arctic, space weather and aviation, and on the solar impact to the global electric circuit. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star. We did not have any significant eruptions and no further events that will enhance the solar wind stream heading for Earth, but we've already got two on the way, and we're seeing more solar flaring. Last night, we said it would continue and likely accelerate into next week, but we already took another impulsive flare early this morning from the southern incoming active region. The big sunspots are still turning in from the far side, but activity is rising nonetheless. We've got two small CMEs on their way to Earth, and the first one is already a few hours late. In addition to flare activity, I'll be monitoring the solar wind for those impacts as the day progresses here. Thus far, no signatures in the solar wind telemetry, all quiet, so any impacts we do get will be quite obvious. Starting the articles with a head shaker. Team was charged with delivering the forecast and factors involved in future changes to the Arctic region. Not one word about the sun, the weakening of Earth's magnetic field, the solar wind, the proton bombardment, just politically charged propaganda. Up next, the aviation industry made no such mistake. They expressly hit the importance of the geomagnetic storms, not only for aviation incidents, but for the health and safety of airline crews and passengers, suggesting the sun is the reason for most aircraft incidents. At least that was true until DEI got a hold of Boeing. And last but not least, the team presenting at this month's EGU General Assembly also got their work published in the AGU. CME impact causes four bush decreases of cosmic rays, and this is visibly noticeable in the global electric circuit via monitoring of the atmospheric potential gradient. This is how the entire atmosphere is subject to the sun and why it will get worse as the magnetic pole shift marches on. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.